So this is going to be part two of Allen Week. And hopefully it's recording properly. Because the first time that I did it, it wasn't recording properly. And uh, it kept on glitching out, messing up. It kept on messing up the bit. I don't know. But we're going to, uh, I can't go back. I can't start it all over. So. This is going to be part two. Right now, it is. Let me show y'all. It is damn near midnight. It is 12. I don't know. Oh, y'all can't see that. It is. Tw- it is. It is damn near midnight right now. We are about to play a horror game. So. This is just shows how dedicated I am to not only playing horror games, but playing horror story-based horror games, and then as well, doing my best to give out great, amazing content. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to sit down. We're going to relax. We're going to enjoy this scary game together. As a family. You feel what I'm saying? Rock out. You feel me? We just gonna rock the fuck out. And it's already lagging. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know what the hell that just did or why it was messing up, why it's still messing up. It's still messing up right now. It's messing up. Hopefully it's still picking me up. It's still. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. A container this wasn't for some something? Random act of violence. This was a ritual. A nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. So, okay, so the way he just said it like that, was as the right, the way he just said it like that makes it seem as if, like, she's, she's thinking, like, okay, he was selected for this, t- for this murder to, to, I guess, release whatever spirit they were trying to, con- that was in him or whatever. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction, from the lake, probably looking for shelter, safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Mm. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly noon. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, 
strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. I guess that's for me, Clark. What's this guy yeah. doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Hey, for all, <laughs> for all my anime lovers, tell me what tree this is. Tell, tell me what tree this is. Get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, read the paper, dummy. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. <laughs> FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they it's found. It's starting to get the first uh, step down. But I don't know. Depths. I don't know Reading which words. one is which. Like These I know words felt like a message. when I say which one is which, I mean like which is the real world, which is the fake world. Because I, because I think Alan Alan Wake is supposed to be an author, but if he. If he's an author and he's writing these stories, then he you would think that he's in the real world and these FBI people are just characters in his story. Right? Right? I don't know, bro. I don't know how to Hold on, let me get let me get something to drink real quick. Someone knew they were here, someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even, Even if they, they knew, knew it would end up hurting them. The page. Us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left okay, it for us. Oh, okay. So now we have we have scripts from the main. What the hell, bro? I should profile Nightingale about this page. Okay. Ooh. This is getting this is getting real freaky, bro. It's getting real freaky. What's up, y'all? So, how y'all doing? I hope y'all enjoy while I play this horror game. Um, 
if I get scared, you, you know why. Oh, that's profiling. Uh, oh, I can go back and profile some more. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, so. Reading the words, th these words felt like a message. Someone's playing a game with us. Uh, okay. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. She thinks the killer is watching them. What's up, Jim? What's up, Uncle? Uncle Elko, what's up, Crystal? What's up, David? What's up, Carlos? I appreciate y'all all for joining, man. I appreciate y'all all for joining. Y'all gonna go through this with me as as I play this. We found a page in the woods, a story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. Hmm? You must dig it out. Something was put inside. Now him. she thinks something was put chest. inside of him. I must find out what. Oh man. Oh man. So now we have to go back and maybe dig in his body or something. That'd be kind of messed up. Hold on, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can do something real fast. Casey, what's the forest's favorite shape? Please, Anderson, just one case without the redu- A triangle. I don't get it. Yes, you do. Wait, are we walking back? We never even got to the river. But I mean, that makes sense because she wants to check his chest out.
sorry, this this thing started lagging. Sure, the north side slasher. But that case was completely different. The trees, Anderson. He hid the bodies in the forest. Hmm? He, he, had, he hid the bodies in the trees? Is that what they're trying to say? That he literally hid the body in the forest. Hey, you made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. I'm confused on what they they want me to do. Essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. You got it. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not going to say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. A creepy twig sculpture? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. What did it, it says? Confused, follow the steps. Wash your hands, take chicken out the fridge, take a nap. Okay. How is this not the code? your hands right so bathroom up down take so up down up down okay wait no 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 let's so side by side facing each other then both wait take a nap where would you take a nap at in your room is there one hey uh, logan's birthday is coming up <clears throat> i i need toy ideas toys <laughs> she's 14 casey okay so where do i get her get her a book Something weird and dark. Maybe that'll get her back into reading. No, 
wash your hair, take the chicken out the fridge, and then take a nap. The one, it's, so it's either take a nap, like the opposite, or take a nap down, down. The fridge is definitely in the corner like this. So this is definitely wash your hands. This is definitely take chicken out the fridge. So it's either take a nap in here. Which I don't think it is. Taking that out over there. So let's 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 try it out. Let's see. Let's see which one works. Okay, so wash your hands was uh, this one. Take the fridge. What? Oh my God. Hmm. Hi. I got freaked out, not because of the game, but because what? what? Yeah, I'm, I can't, bro. Don't take anything if you aren't one of, not, if you aren't one of the trees. What is this? Nine millimeter bullet. Why are you laying on the couch? Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. It's been mad creepy. Okay. Did you get lost? Anderson. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. A shortcut key? Thanks. Okay. Okay. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside, pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. 
Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? Yes, a camera dummy. A snuff film? Maybe. A snuff And why film? take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. This, this is going to be a long game. This game is going to take a long time. I can, I can feel are. it. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Just how much coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> don't know, don't care. <laughs> how much have you had? Not enough. That's how much. Never enough coffee. Oh, that's rich. Bittersweet extra. Give me that coffee world. This is the entire time. This is it. Welcome to Bright Falls. I think it doesn't say it it's on the nice jacket. You I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Mm -hmm. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure, but it's slowed down ever since Calder went. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. Mm -hmm. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. 
Oh, officer. Just saw guys fine in. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Colgin Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Shorty, why are you... Why are you so aggressive right now? Like, nobody trying to get you locked up. Why, why are you... So what did you see in the woods? Why are you so adamant about this not... Naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. Then we bolted and called the cops. The dude's, the dude's anti as hell right now. Why did you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They, they were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree, cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a, the whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Nah. Nah. You suspicious, shorty. Why you ain't want him to say something? Why you stop him? The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Annie. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Mm. The bookers were at Cauldron. So she's first of all, she's messing with, she's uh, contaminating with uh, evidence. They say the writer fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters, they broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do with a murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Told you not to keep that from Jimmy. Thank you, dumbass. Dumbass. Thanks. This could be Dumbass. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing you. But... Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. Who are you? I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um... I'm sorry. Yeah, who are you? Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. What? If you say so. That's a little sus.
that's that's a little sus. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. <laughs> have you a heard of this cult. cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. A Sheriff murder Wood, cult. The cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not going to find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guest. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. And always has been. Why? What's she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Nah. Something fishy going on. Something real fishy. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep. In the morgue. All prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff yep, yep. Station. Just Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, money. Sheriff. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Yeah, being a weirdo. What kind of joke is that? It's not even a funny joke. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What? Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? Writing on the heart? How'd they manage that? The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Post-mortem? This looks like text. Wait a second, hold on. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us.
chest wound is cause of death. But the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? It's another paper. It's a, it's a, it's another paper. She touched it with her hand. That's dirty. Where are your gloves at? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them. Made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Oh, Lord. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Okay, safe haven will restore some of the health if you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat. It will become temporarily unavailable. Gotta move. Now.
Okay. So. I think I know how I'm going to attack this game and how I'm going to go about it. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to at least do my absolute best to do chapter by chapter until this game is over. Um, if, if chapters take too long, then, you know, I might have to break it up. And, and things of that nature but this is an absolutely great part to end at uh, hopefully they do it like this every time a chapter ends where they give you like a like a brief break or a, a kind of like a video montage pause or whatever but i love this but hey man i appreciate every single one of y'all that sat and watched this entire video from start to finish um i know I know um, that it sucks that part one, um, the first part that I recorded, you guys weren't able to see it. Um, and a little bit of this part was still a little messed up. But I promise you, I promise you by the next video, it's all going to be set. And moving forward, everything's going to be properly set and properly placed. So that way there is no more issues or no more problems. Um but again, hey amen. Again, like I said before, I appreciate every single last one of y'all for sticking around, watching to this point. If you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the the jump scares and the and the moments, the raw emotional moments, um, from from me from the video, even um the fact that I I'm gonna be playing this game, um, at night. Uh, and, and, and only at night, only in the dark, um, please leave a like, please leave a comment, please subscribe and please share the video. Amen. I appreciate y'all again. I love every single last one of y'all. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.